I'm going to show you how to approach any AMC MCQ question using logic. This is straight from the MCQ handbook. The question already gives us so many hints. It needs to be the most common or the most important, not the one you recognize first. End stage tells us that the condition needs to be something chronic that goes on long enough to progress to end stage. With the standard of healthcare in Australia, this will allow you to rule out a few options. The answer needs to be a condition that affects adults and it's in Australia, which is a first world healthcare setting. Now let's consider our options. A is diabetes mellitus, a tempting choice because diabetes is an obvious cause of kidney failure in most countries. However, it must be the most common cause in Australia, so other answers need to be considered as well. Also, they've written diabetes mellitus and not diabetes nephropathy, which seems silly to obsess about, but these people are so sneaky. Diabetes is such an obvious choice, so I'm going to say maybe, but I'm going to carefully review the other answers. B is polycystic renal disease. We know that this is a structural inherited condition, usually genetic, so this is safe to assume that it probably won't be the most common cause. In general, acquired disease like diseases of lifestyle will always be more common, so I'd probably exclude this answer. Next we have analgesic nephropathy. Now understand why this would be a tempting answer. You would think it's a developed country, lots of available medication, lots of patients over medicating, therefore it might be an option. However, if you think a bit harder, you'll eventually realize more developed countries have more expensive drugs and have more choices for drugs. So there's more analgesia available and people aren't as forced to use nephrotoxic drugs like NSAIDs as in developing countries. In most developed countries, analgesic nephropathy is on the decline, so it's safe to rule it out. Next, we have chronic glomerular nephritis. Now, this is an interesting one for a few reasons. The word chronic is a clue that it's been going on for a long time. That fits in with end-stage renal failure. Glomerular nephritis is also a clear cause of end-stage renal disease with multiple systemic conditions that would contribute to its pathology. And it includes many conditions that also include diabetic nephropathy, hypertensive renal disease, and other autoimmune conditions. So it's quite a broad term and would technically also be correct. This should definitely be a maybe. Next, we have reflux nephropathy. This is usually due to structural abnormalities seen in children. And in developed worlds, conditions like these can usually be treated or surgically corrected. So for these reasons, I probably feel more comfortable ruling this out because it has nothing to do with adults. So we've narrowed it down to A and D, which is a tough call because they're both technically right. However, after considering all the options, I would still be picking D, and this is because diabetes can technically cause chronic glomerular nephritis. They've also said diabetes mellitus and not diabetes nephropathy, so D just seems like the safer choice. Thank you for watching, and head over to our YouTube for more useful tips.